Do golf balls go bad over time? Saw your golf ball wearing out and wondering whether golf balls go bad over time? You're not alone. The golf ball is the heart of a golf game. It's what determines the distance and accuracy of your shots. But as you rack up the rounds, you may wonder whether your golf balls can actually go bad over time, impacting your performance on the course. Think about it, you're out on the golf course, ready to play golf, and suddenly your balls aren't delivering. They're not going as far as they used to, and your shots are off. And to make matters worse, using golf balls that are past their prime can cause a real headache, you'll struggle with inconsistent shots, and your confidence will take a hit. No one wants that. In this video, we're going to cut to the chase and answer the question, do golf balls go bad over time? We'll dive into the factors that can impact their performance and provide you with tips to extend their lifespan. Plus, we'll give you the lowdown on the signs that it's time to say goodbye to your golf balls and pick up a new set. Understanding the shelf life of your golf balls. Let's understand how long golf balls last before we say goodbye to them and reach for a new one. Well, the truth is, it's not a straightforward answer. The longevity of a golf ball depends on several factors, such as how often you play, the type of terrain you play on, the clubs you use, and even the weather. However, we can give you a rough estimate. On average, golf balls can last 2 to 3 years, but high-end balls can last up to 5. Store your balls in tip-top shape in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight and extreme temperatures. Of course, if you're an avid golfer who plays all the time, you may have to replace your golf balls more frequently. But if you're a casual player, your golf balls may last a bit longer. Here's what we suggest, keep an eye on your golf balls after each round. If you notice any scuffs, cuts, or compression marks, it's time to retire that ball and grab a new one. What are the factors that contribute to the degradation of golf balls? Usage The more rounds we play, the quicker our golf balls start to wear down. But, why does playing time greatly impact a golf ball's performance and lifespan? Think about it, our golf ball takes a beating every time we swing. That impact, combined with the friction from hitting the ground and club face, creates heat that can cause the ball's outer layer to wear away over time. This leads to scuffs, cuts, and other types of damage that can seriously hinder the performance and longevity of our golf balls. Heat and sunlight. When golf balls get baked for too long, their outer layer can look funky and messed up. That's a big no-no if we want our golf balls to perform their best and last longer. Next up, let's talk about those harmful UV rays. Sunlight is loaded with them, and they are no friend to our golf balls. Over time, those UV rays can cause the ball's outer layer to fade and make it look like it's seen better days. Not only does this affect the ball's performance, but it can make it harder to spot on the course. Water and moisture. When you hit that ball into the pond, you're not just fishing for your ball, you're fishing for trouble too. When a golf ball gets soaked, it can cause the cover to get all soft and squishy. And that means a big loss in performance. Plus, if you leave it in the water for too long, it's like a sponge, it'll soak up all that moisture and become a heavy, difficult to control ball. Now, let's talk about humidity. It's not just the rain you gotta worry about, it's the air around you too. Over time, exposure to moisture can cause the cover to soften up and lose its shape, which means a loss in performance and a shorter lifespan. Terrain. When you're out there playing, it's not just about getting that perfect shot, it's also about making sure your golf balls are protected. And let's start with the rough. You hit that ball into the long grass, and suddenly, it's in a war zone. Branches and rocks are ready to attack, causing scuffs, cracks, and punctures. That's bad news for your ball, my friend. And it's not just the rough that's a problem, it's the hard stuff too. When playing on concrete or asphalt, your golf balls get smacked with every shot. Over time, all that impact can cause the cover to become deformed and worn down. That's a major blow to performance and lifespan. Chemical Exposure Chemicals are the bane of a golfer's existence, especially when it comes to golf balls. Exposure to nasty substances like solvents, fuels, and acidic substances can cause the ball's outer layer to degrade, leading to decreased performance and overall weakness. Age Over time, the ball's outer layer can become rough, and the elasticity can decrease, messing with its speed, distance, and trajectory. This happens because golf balls are designed with a specific level of compression and elasticity, giving them their signature performance. But as the ball ages, that compression decreases, leading to a drop in distance, accuracy, spin, and control. Compression Golf balls are designed with a certain level of compression that gives them their unique characteristics and performance. But over time, that compression can start to wane, messing with the ball's speed, distance, and trajectory. If the ball gets smacked around a lot during play, that can also cause its compression to go out of whack, making it harder to control and aim. Storage we must ensure that we keep our balls in a cool, dry spot, far away from the hot sun and high temperatures. And we can't forget about moisture. Keeping our balls away from damp or humid environments is key. 
Moisture can seep into the ball's surface, making it soft and misshapen, messing with its speed and trajectory. How to tell if your golf ball has gone bad? Take a good look at the cover of the ball. If you see any nicks, scratches, or cuts, it's a good sign that your ball might be on its last legs. These little imperfections can mess with your ball's performance, so it's best to swap it out for a fresh one if you see any damage. The second is compression. This measures how much the ball squashes when it's hit. If your ball starts to lose its bounce, it could mean that the core is starting to break down. You can grab a compression tester from your local golf store or online to check the compression. Thirdly, pay attention to the weight of the ball. If it feels heavier than usual, it might mean it's soaked up some moisture and is starting to break down. To check the weight, you can use a kitchen or golf ball scale, both of which you can find online or at your local golf shop. Lastly, keep an eye on your performance. If you're not getting the distance you used to or noticing that your ball isn't flying as straight, it could be time to retire that ball and grab a new one. How to store and used golf balls to prolong their lifespan. Location is key in prolongation of your golf balls. You don't want to leave your balls in a hot, humid, or damp place. So, forget the garage or outdoors. Instead, look for a spot inside your house that's cool and dry, like a closet or a cabinet. Next up, containers. You want something that seals tight to keep moisture out. That's a big no-no for golf balls, trust me. You can buy a special container for golf balls or grab a plastic container with a tight lid. Either way, make sure it seals tight. What are the alternatives to using a degraded or an old golf ball? The best alternative is to grab a brand spanking new ball and hit the course. But if you're looking to save some dough, used balls could be the way to go. These are balls that have been used by other players and then collected. They may have a few signs of wear and tear, but they can still perform well and won't break the bank. Another option is to use a ball specifically designed for golfers with slower swing speeds. Lastly, you could try using a different type of ball altogether. What is the role of compression and dimple design in maintaining golf ball performance? In terms of compression, it's all about how much the ball compresses when hit. But here's the best part over time, the ball's compression can change, leading to a drop in performance. Those tiny indentations on the modern golf ball, they're there for a reason. These dimples help the ball move smoothly through the air and maintain lift, which is essential for longer shots. But, just like compression, the dimple design can change with time, causing a reduction in lift and distance. Not good, right? Hence, choose a ball with the right compression for our swing, look for balls designed to maintain their compression and dimple design over time, and always be mindful of how we store our balls to keep them in tip-top shape. What is the importance of regular inspection and replacement of golf balls? Performance. We all want our shots to go exactly where we want them to, right? Well, over time, those little white balls can start to wear and show damage. This can really mess with their performance, and before you know it, you're slicing and hooking all over the place. Regular inspections can help you identify any balls that need to be replaced so you always have a full set of balls that perform their best. Consistency. Nobody likes hitting a shot perfectly, only to watch it go off course because the ball wasn't quite right. Replacing worn or damaged balls helps keep your shots consistent, so you can be confident that each shot will perform similarly. And when you're confident, you can focus on making accurate shots and lowering your scores. Safety. We don't like to think about it, but those little balls can crack or damage in other ways. If that happens, they could break apart during a shot and potentially harm someone or damage equipment. Regular inspections can help you spot any balls that are no longer safe to use, so you can avoid any accidents on the course. We hope you find our video helpful. Like, subscribe and ring the notification bell for more golf reviews and information from golfing is best.